Yeah, I'm under 18 and I have been drinking alcohol. Yeah, uh, under age drinking, it, it is a very serious problem in, in our school. I like it. I like alcohol so much. When a child takes alcohol and comes to class, he, is, uh, he or she is uncontrollable. It's so important that we go into schools and do this You Decide campaign because it's a message that is long overdue. The young lady came to me after the talk. I was just sitting behind the banner there and she just said to me, it was like you were talking to me and she just started crying. I think it's a good thing for people coming to our school and telling us about why, why shouldn't we drink alcohol. You Decide is designed as a multi-dimensional solution targeting teens and the various points of influence in their lives. A 2012 research study showed there was an 8.3% relative drop in the numbers of teenagers who reported that they drink alcohol. It's important that the show came to our school today because most of our learners drink within the premises of the school. You Decide, the future is in your hands and so it's an empowering campaign even though they're at a young age but they'll really really benefit from it. First time I saw the Youth Decide show was in 2012. It made me realize that I've wasted way too much time in drinking. It is true to say that if it wasn't for the Youth Decide, I wouldn't have stopped drinking. You, you're making a big difference in their lives and in our lives. I learned not to take alcohol and always listen to my elders. I've learned a lot and I've gained more knowledge. You Decide has a positive above the line campaign to support the program and in 2013 introduced a reality TV series called Future Leaders to take mass awareness to the next level. This is Future Leaders. The Future Leaders also got to discover how the You Decide campaign became successful in curbing underage drinking. The program is about creating awareness, so just making people aware that alcohol uh, is an issue and what the issues around that are. What are the dangers and consequences of knocking back 15 courts on a weekend when you're only 13 years old? And it was time for them to learn about the power of their decisions through the You Decide play. Stan is a very shy 15 year old. He doesn't drink, can't really dance, so no one really knows what he's doing at the party. But you see, there's this girl called Rebecca that Stan can't wait to see. He has a huge crush on her. So tonight, he's hoping he'll get to tell her how he feels. So while Stan looks for Rebecca, this other guy called Seizway walks up to him. So let's see what happens when Seizway walks up to stand. Future Leaders has become more than a communications tool for You Decide. Now in its third season, it has helped teens to make a difference in their community. You Decide has shown us of the ills of underage drinking. Like programs that I participated in today, I think they, they, they will go a long way in assisting these learners to have a brighter, brighter future. We've had a, a great session with uh, positive-minded young people, um, very vibrant, very committed, and uh, also they, they've shown great leadership. I'm here to change lives and make a difference. When I grow up, I want to be a pilot. Yeah, I want to be a chartered accountant. Uh, my dream is to become a psychologist. And uh, I don't think alcohol is a good thing for my future and my success. And alcohol is not going to help me achieve my dream. I think it's important that um, private companies and the government come together to work on projects like this, like how SAB and DTI and the NYDA have come together because together we really can't do more. I know it sounds cheesy, but it really is that case. The program has been in taverns, taxi ranks, malls, community halls and over a thousand schools and seen by half a million learners across the country. Since inception, industry bodies, the ARA and SADC have joined the program to provide further influence.